Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Brian Daly, and today we are going to review the Old Testament and related studies by Hugh Nibley. This is the first volume in his collected works. Now, it's printed by Desert Book. A lot of you have probably seen these all around town. This is kind of a common bookshelf collection. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on this one, though. I'm going to give it three stars. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it is a fantastic introduction to Hugh Nibley. However, you have to realize that Hugh Nibley was probably the first major devoted apologist and the greatest one the church has had. He contributed to the church in the form of research in a significant way that has never been met and may never be met again and was never met before. Although Parley P. Pratt and Orson Pratt were great apologists in their day, uh, Hugh Nibley's contribution to research in Mormonism has been phenomenal. In fact, even with the transition from farms uh, away from the foundation of ancient research and Mormon studies, uh, they still publish all of his works under the farms banner, and rightfully so. Uh, I hope they never change that because he was, for all intents and purposes, farms. All right. So with that being said, the reason why I give it three stars is because as an apologist, uh, you get this great introduction to Hugh Nibley in this, in the fact that at times he is so boring, okay? Because in research, he is so fascinated by things that for us, we just don't care about and never will. I don't really care about the King of Persia's weird biannual ritual. However, he finds value in this and is able to extrapolate concepts and purposes and reasoning for it. And he'll write entire papers on it. Um, one of the things you'll notice about this first volume is that it's a fairly wide breadth of context, Old Testament and related studies. So in this first edition, you're going to get concepts of the of the history of the Bible. You're going to get some concepts of the Dead Sea Scrolls and their values, and of course, questions of missing books in the Bible. And so you're going to get a lot of good basic content in the Old Testament, and frankly, a lot that's kind of over your head. So as much as I love Nibley and a lot of his works in the future, I'm going to give four stars, and a couple of them I'm going to give five stars as necessary to read. This is just a three-star book. If you've got the collection, uh, I would pick it up. I'd read through it. I would probably start every single one of his essays that he has in here. And if it shows no interest to you at all, just skip it. Um, I am not a fan of skipping content in books. But when it comes to Nibley, he hits it out of the park or he will put you to sleep. Um, this particular one has a little bit more putting to sleep than hitting it out of the park because it's just so wide. It's such a weird, not weird, just broad concept in the Old Testament and really just an amalgamation of some of his earlier works kind of thrown together. His later volumes become more focused on topics and less of just an amalgamation of what comes in. Uh, but his first few works are just generally Old Testament. So we'll just generally grab a few of his early stuff and throw it in. Uh, I do admire Hugh Nibley. Again, I recommend it for those who are interested in the topic. Uh, if you have it on your shelf and you want to skim through it, go for it. But if you aren't an avid reader, there are other Nibley books to focus on that probably need to be in your library. Uh, and with that, I'll leave it. Three stars, Old Testament and Related Studies by Hugh Nibley. Go for it if you're really interested in getting into some really meaty concepts and research in the Old Testament. This is a good place to start. If you're not real meaty but still interested, skim through, find the gems. There are a couple of gems in here, and just read those. And if it's just something that doesn't tempt your tickler, just don't. All right? Uh, with that, I'll leave you three stars. If you enjoyed this and are interested in others' uh, reviews, please visit LDSBookReviews.com. With that, we'll leave you.